I so nervous? You really gotta do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. you thinking miles this is not on you we can't let him live up here it's just another kind of prison it's not that easy never said it was but sometimes you got to push the past away so you can make room for the future that's actually why I call need your help getting something could get it myself but Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. In some? How did you? And Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude could turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on? Our school. 
college. Anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some Fowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays <laughs> hidden until it detects the code from my suit. <laughs> Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Done. Not bad, kid. <laughs> pull it open from down here. <gasps> you would have made a decent problem. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Got it. You wanna finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. Listen, this isn't the only stash. Um. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. I want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay, I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, Nick. Don't be a stranger. I wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles, me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con. Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah, y cómo está él? Está trotando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Maybe I can snap a few pics for Robbie. know that the bags banks use don't have big dollar signs on them i know i was disappointed i'm back yankee go ahead club fair remember you on your way oh right that's today mr atlas is confirmed to be here he's got the best music technology program in the state and i heard he's talking scholarships i have so many questions for him be there soon
seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. wondering what this place was. <gasps> That's Emily's tree. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really going to start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was going to give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this... Place. Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... you got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine. Who may I ask who's calling? Oh, of course. Heading through. Dr. Nora. Here, follow me. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? Right? <laughs> you must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. 
Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. A carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting them, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Well, Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. I wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh, yeah, that would take a while. Not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here.
drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultralight drones, using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. There's so much to explore. Welcome. But I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. On your right. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Rabor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. It's so calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great, now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized, but ours are open source developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Interesting.
One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. If I combine these traits...
Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I knew a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and make proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> Quick thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I track the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me. Your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, 
Man, we were sure it was there. <sighs> Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Littering? Come on, man. Take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, Birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline. Going through the city like it's an optical course never gets old. Getting to do real science, though, for actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. We can daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Whoa, is that a real gun that actually works? Take a look under the hood. I'll take that as a no. That's too close now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. I'm just saying I've kicked his butt a few times! Now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay, let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh, is that your home? Come on, Birdie, let go! Come on! Stop buy a ticket for this ride! Gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records.
Where are we going now? that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, this fire. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? <gasps> I'm gonna find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta drop one of them away. Heard something. something two things this armed group calls themselves hunters and they've got a lot of accents hmm. international mercenaries that's what i'm thinking could be front page material for your article i'm writing it up now thanks oh and speaking of work i accepted harry's offer that's fantastic we should celebrate later after you're done with your current work totally talk soon Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others all around the city. I'll send this to Ganky, but he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Hungry too? Nighty night. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Oh, oh sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking seals operational. Good. Beetles, talandrons, ammunition, rations. Hmm. Still missing some. <coughs> are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich or well-connected. Hunter! The hero is here!
yourself. Stay away. All right. Where to next? Like this is the only way. A research lab? Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa! And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Need a sec. Some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Am I looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know it's up? Already on it. Stay safe. I have a shot. some answers instead of questions right now that looks pro all right craven what are you looking for wait i get bringing scorpion and lee on a hunt but black cat's a thief gonna win best in show with that attitude <laughs> No joke! Come <laughs> on. 
was wondering when animal control would show up. Actually, now that you're here, question. What's Craven hunting? Maybe I can help. You always live long enough to help anyone. Wanna bet? Listen, this would go a lot easier for everyone if someone just filled me in. Craven hunts what man fears most. That's all you need to know. Oh, so he's hunting failure? Intimacy? Clowns! It's clowns, isn't it? Good riddance, I say. Scorpion, Martin Lee, Black Cat. This Craven guy's putting together quite the team. Is this the best you can do? They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. supervillains for some hunt. There is prey. Felicia. For what? In serio. My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. <sighs> Can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. I see you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Next time, I promise. Miles. I love you.
I found a base belonging to those safari pirates, or hunters, as they call themselves, and learned their boss's name, Craven. And he killed Scorpion, and he's got a whole hit list of supervillains. Wait, what? Does this mean Lee? I don't know, but this list is extensive. These must be the people Marco warned us about. They were hunting Sandman. No way. And Felicia's on their list, too. Black Cat, your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up, and... We're going to find Lee, Miles. I promise.